I just thought I would film um, my Christmas card making. So I've made these three for Jeanette's uh, Christmas swap. Oh, it's a little heavy. So I still need to make two more. So I've made my two Christmas cards. I'll quickly show you. Nothing special. I don't like making cards. So I just did it as simply as I could. Piece of paper down, bit of hessian, bit of the, that from Sonia. So, uh, that's a stamp with a one inch punch and that's a two inch punch I think. And so I don't want to make them all exactly the same because everyone's an individual. So this is the other one. Cute. Right, so I'll work on the next one again. These I got from came up for Big W for two dollars. Fantastic cards. And uh, small is good because there's less work involved. <laughs> Especially when you've got five people. Right, so I start by I like this green for a background. I'll take that off. I will then use my cutter because I couldn't cut straight if my life depended on it. Someone was holding a gun to my head saying cut it straight. I think that'd kill me. So this is the way I end up measuring it. I hate measuring so I turn it. There's my card. There's the paper. So I want to leave about that much of a border. So I get my pen and on the back I mark about there, about there, and that's how I know where to cut. There we go. So that should fit perfectly like that. And of course, I'm going to ink the edges because that makes all the difference to it. And if you're anything like me, lazy, lazy, you just do it straight from the yellow. But I like the effect it gives it because you go a bit over and you end up getting some like that. And that's the effect that I want. I want a messy effect like that so like that there we go so that's the effect that we want right. now I'm gonna probably score no, it's not score tape it's just double sided tape because you don't want any wrinkles on it if you put glue on it unless you use medium or suppose you could put a medium on it like a matte medium yeah, that'll do just the two I hate that make sure your card is the way you want it to be so, uh, and I want that at the bottom. Shall I line that up? There you go. Yeah. So now a little bows, I could finally use my little red bows. Let's have a little 
think. little red ribbon. I might actually zigzag that in and out of that. And that look cool. Thank you Sonia. I don't know why you haven't got my parcel yet. Please don't stress. I'm sure it's on its way. Posted it Monday. And Sue J. Yeah, don't stress either. I'm sure it'll get here. And anyone else that's waiting for a package from me, don't stress. I'm sure it'll get to you. Remember, we had it on the 5th of November, public holiday cup day. And sometimes packages get held up for more than a few days, like it's a good week. So... It's very big here, Melbourne Cup. It's not the world stops for that race, not just Melbourne. Put that right. Put that about there. I've just put the glue on the ribbon because I don't want it to show through. So the edges here, just trim down and I might need to put some glue on that a bit later so right so now we need Are, um, some of these things are in the card making kit. All this paper in here. Maybe that would look good there. And you were right, CJ. Yes, cut them out with a one inch. That's that paper you got. Maybe that on the side there. That's a Merry Christmas stamp. Might need to cut that a bit. Let's see how I go. I think I shouldn't have started doing this because I'm not too good at doing this. Are they? Just cut it squarish. That's better. And just round off the corners. Right. Let's see how that looks not the right shape but you know what I don't care <laughs> don't care
cut that to match it. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Now they are similar shapes and it won't look that odd. Here we go. Put them on. Yep, simple and elegant. There you go. See so if you put something there it'll just look too much maybe. Unless I put one of um some of this little gold trees. That's a bit bigger that'll be perfect. I've got some of these ones. These are alright. I might sell these in my store actually. I was thinking of doing that. I've already done one with a Christmas tree so maybe I'll do a snowflake one. And sort of the red ribbon I might do a white Better? Or maybe just no. How easy was that? So let's see what we got. So far we got besides a mess, little mess. We got this one. This one. Okay, so for this one, it's I put the burlap over the paper. You put that on there. See, with this one, because I didn't put burlap, it, it needed something, but since that had the burlap, just needed a small little something, you know. So, yeah, just balance everything out. And at the top here, I just put one of those little spacer things for the star. Looks like a star. So I've got two more, Jeanette, if you're watching, nearly done. I've got those three cards and I've got these three over here and what have what else have I done? The bags. Oh I have finished all my bags and I did a video with them too. Uh, these are my bags. One, two and I'm sorry I, I just don't have the time or the patience to do the bags and the cards and the people's colours. I'm sorry. It's frustrating enough having to do that in their colours. So, yeah, that's what I've done. Thanks all for watching. Bye.